Football Manager 2024 is an incredibly complicated game and training is no different. Now, we've been streaming it on Twitch now for ages. So here are my five tips that I wish I knew before I started about training on Football Manager 2024. Number one, tactical familiarity. Now, the more familiar your team are with the tactic that they're playing and the roles that they're playing in, the more performance you will get from them on the pitch. So there are a few ways that we can achieve this in training. First one is once you've decided on your tactic and you put all your players into the positions that they are supposed to be in or that you want them to play in, go through and right click, click training, go to position, role, duty, and then pick the position and role that you think you want to play them in for the season. This will speed up the time that it takes for them to become familiar with the tactic, with the role that they are supposed to be playing in, and therefore will improve their performance on the pitch. Another little spin-off from this that helps, which I will mention more in our tactics video, however, I'm going to just bring it up a little bit here, is that when I have more than one tactic, which you should definitely have, and you should definitely train at the top, uh, I will always make sure that they are playing in the same position. So as you can see here, Kane is playing a Mazala. If I go to my number two tactic, which is a more counter-attacking one, he's still playing a, as a Mazala. The difference is the instructions that he is given so the mentality changes but the position and the roles do not which rolls me on to the last part of this point which is to choose your training tactic based on which tactic your team need to learn the most i mean it makes sense right so head over to training up the top you'll see primary training tactic here you can choose which one of your three tactics that your team are training so if you get fully familiar with your main tactic then you can still play your main tactic but you can set the second one which for me is the, the counter-attacking one as the one that they are practicing the most in training don't forget this if this is during the season and they're playing the main tactic in the matches then you are they're still going to be keeping up to date with it they're not going to lose focus they're not going to forget how to do that tactic point number two team morale so you can improve team morale through training really really easily it's incredibly simple you simply go over to individual on the training tab and then you'll see here on the left hand side you have a list of all your players and how well they're training their training rating now if you click on it until the arrow points down you'll see that the people with the top training rating are at the top people with the lowest training rating like jamie hamilton who's doing rubbish training right now is down at the bottom now anyone i tend to do over about 7.8 7.9 but definitely everyone who's training over eight you can click on them once highlight so hold shift click on the top one and you'll see it's highlighted all of them and they come up down the right hand side here and we can just go through and click praise boom and as you can see it gives them a little boost in morale so you can do this with every single player and you can do it with most of them every single week just gives you that little boost of morale uh, improves the team happiness which obviously improves how they play on the pitch third one is team mentoring groups now i won't go too deeply into it but it's very simple you want to have influential players in a mentoring group with less influential players that don't have the personality traits that you want them to. So if you, for example, have a 18 year old, very uninfluential player who is very lazy, for example, he's not very ambitious or he's not very lazy, then you want to make sure he's in a mentoring group with a very influential player who has those opposite characteristics. So if someone's not very determined, for example, you want them to be in with a very determined, influential team leader slight slight player you can of course get your assistant to assign these and he will put everybody in the groups that he thinks is going to improve them the most but if you're really 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 into your details you can go through and spend absolutely forever trying to make sure everybody has the right personality traits and the better personality traits will obviously lead to better performance on the pitch number four and this is a very very quick tip is to do a match review after every single match now if we come over to here and we have a look at what match review actually does it's a session dedicated to analytics reviewing the previous match but you know all of that aside you can see underneath what the impacts are so it improves your tactical mentality your passing style creative freedom trigger press marking tempo width positive basically all your tactical familiarity it will improve so it's a free tactical familiarity boost quicker you get that up remember the better the team are going to play and it also improves your team cohesion so how well they play together as a team it has absolutely no negatives not even physically or mentally or fatigue none of that it is a 
purely positive session that you should always include after every single match. My fifth one for this video is actually to create your schedules based on your team. Now, it's all very tempting to go online and try and find other people's tactics for training that have worked really well. But you've got to remember, they might not be playing the same tactic as you. They also will have different level players as you do. They'll have different staff. They'll have different facilities. They'll have a different match schedule. Lots of things like that that all come into play when it comes to making the perfect training schedule. So I won't go very deeply into it. If you want me to do a very more in-depth video on, on training schedules themselves, then please let me know underneath in the comments. But basically, the obvious and logical stuff to remember is that if you are, for example, playing a very possession-based game, then you want to make sure that you are training possession-based drills. If you are playing a big match and you've got penalty, it's likely that it might go into a penalty shootout, then make sure that for the couple of weeks before that, that you are putting penalties into your training session. Um, if your team are struggling a lot with fitness because of a lot of fixture congestion, then you might want to include a lot of rest and recovery in there rather than hammering them through loads of drills. They're obviously getting a lot of practice anyway, at least your first 11 are because they're playing matches, say, twice a week. So you have to put all of this into consideration when you make your training schedules. The assistant will do an average job normally of the training schedule if you just want to get through the week. However, it's uh, it's definitely something that you should, I think, learn and try and improve yourself. When you are creating these schedules, you can actually see at the top of the screen on the right, it says, you know, what the injury risk is going to be, the condition, fatigue, sharpness, team cohesion, happiness and familiarity. So you can see what your team are going to be learning that week and how much it's going to affect them physically. And then just a little bonus here at the end is to use the rest tab appropriately now i literally didn't click on this up probably for like the first four months of playing this game but if you click up the top on the rest tab then you will see at the top along you know here it says you've got the different levels of training or the different intensities that they will be doing based on what their condition is so you can actually have your staff go well no you are not ready to do full intensity you need to have half intensity you need to have a break hope you found this video useful uh subscribe and do all that jazz if you're interested in more and of course you can come out and ask questions or just hang out with us on twitch link for that is down underneath let me know in the comments if you think of anything else i didn't mention and hopefully i will speak to you in the next video i'll see you soon good luck